The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is at the close of the day. Our Bible reading for this evening comes to us from the book of the prophet Zechariah, reading from the seventh chapter, verses 9 and 10. And I'm reading from the message translation. The message hasn't changed. God of the angel army said then and says now, treat one another justly, love your neighbors, be compassionate with each other. Don't take advantage of widows, orphans, visitors, and the poor. Don't plot and scheme against one another. That's evil. Sometimes the, the, the language of the words that are used in Scripture seems so profoundly obvious that one wonders why they even need to be said. But the truth of the matter is, so much of what goes on in the world at all levels of human life are such simple things, people taking advantage of one another, people not exercising compassion toward one another, people not loving each other as neighbors. Brothers and sisters, it is my prayer that on this day, that's what you will recollect when you think about the people that you've encountered, that you have no rancor or anger against anybody, but you go to sleep peacefully, knowing that you have loved your neighbor. Now, if you haven't done so well with that today, you've got tomorrow, tomorrow, let that be a day of loving your neighbor. Let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.